A major ransomware attack at a large Chicago financial company. A tentative deal is struck after nearly 10,000 John Deere employees went on strike. And October sees record home sales on the high end of the Chicago market. Here to go behind the headlines is Crane's Chicago business editor, Ann Dwyer. Ann, great to see you as always. So a major breach here, a ransomware attack at CNA Financial at downtown. Tell us what was compromised. Well, it looks like about 75,000 people or more may have seen their social security numbers and even in some cases their personal health information, Paris, be released out onto the, uh, the World Wide Web through this hack. Uh, this shows that uh, the, the nightmare of ransomware uh, corporate hacks uh, is still rippling through the U.S. economy. The CNA hack was uh, one of the largest in corporate history. Uh, now, CNA is trying to make things right with the people that they say are affected. They reported today that they're going to be offering things like two years of free credit reporting services, etc. But meanwhile, CNA also disclosed today that their own cyber insurance is not going to cover the cost of this hack, which actually happened back in March. They're just disclosing some of these details now. So it really looks like, uh, Paris, what we first thought was just a hack that made life difficult for CNA internally had far wider ramifications for a lot of people who do business with that company. Well, it seems like a, a quagmire right now. Okay, uh, quagmire maybe averted uh, out near the Quad Cities. 10,000 John Deere employees strike a deal uh, um, with the company. UAW uh, had, had been on strike. What happened there? Well, this is the first strike, Paris, uh, that's happened at Deere since 1986. And the outcome, at least in this tentative deal, tells you a lot about how much muscle organized labor has nowadays, with corporate profits being so high and uh, access to skilled workers being so tight. Uh, the uh, union negotiators managed to extract a 10% pay hike out of Deere in this tentative deal. Uh, that's versus the 5 or 6% that they were offered before the strike began a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there are other factors uh, in the deal. One thing that's worth calling out, I think, is that the deal will call for no more two-tier system. In other words, anyone that's hired after 1997 will be eligible for the same benefits package, which is really quite remarkable. That two-tier system has been something that's uh, really taken hold at big manufacturers for the past couple of decades. Now, uh, the rank and file workers will have a chance to uh, have their voices heard. They vote on the deal tomorrow. UAW exerting some muscle out there. Okay, and then back here in Chicago, 74 homes in Chicago were sold at more than $4 million a piece. That's a pretty high number. Uh, what's, what's behind uh, the surge here in the high end of the real estate market? Well, it's not just a high number. Our uh, residential real estate reporter, Dennis Rodkin, who lives for this sort of thing, uh, tells me that it's actually a record. We haven't seen this many 4 million plus sales in the city of Chicago in this time period ever. And uh, what the uh, realtors who work in the upper strata of the real estate market are telling us is that there are a couple of factors driving this. Uh, one, of course, is that Chicago high-end real estate is actually a relative bargain compared to uh, other cities around the U.S. and around the world. So people who are shopping for those $5 million pied a terres uh, are seeing Chicago as an attractive place to plunk down some money. Another thing that's driving it, uh, Paris, is the stock market boom. Uh, it's created a lot of uh, it, wealth to spend among people who are lucky enough to have big portfolios. Uh, and all of that means uh, that sales of four million up uh, are hot and are going to continue to be hot. We're talking about some eye-popping price points up to $12.5 million. One note uh, that Dennis shares is that the St. Regis is uh, a real focal point of a lot of this action. I believe that uh, eight of the four million plus sales that took place so far this year were in that building. And then, as I understand, and uh, the, the former Tribune Tower as well, or the, still the Tribune Tower, but now it's condos. They've been doing well in that uh, end of the market as well. All right, we have to leave it there. Our thanks to Ann Dwyer. Thank you.